Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be another one of those inspiration style videos, meaning that these are cards I've received or made in the past that may serve as kind of some, some level of inspiration for you. So here's one I made just recently with my upline, which I thought she, um, she helped create this card and then essentially like as we were chatting and, and just doing business stuff uh, we then were able to make this lovely card so this uses just jade and uh, knight of navy and some uh, really nice little effects here i don't know if you can tell but yeah there's the glitter all through the card um and then the shading in that evergreen um 3d background embossing folder there which i love that um, here's one. I believe this is the Botanicals um, product medley that just uh, recently retired with the new catalog coming out. And I thought that was super cute and very detailed. Here's one. Um, we have a sep the September, September swap is coming in. Um, these are a couple of those from that. Notice those beautiful more autumnal colors there. Loving that. Here is one, I think this is called like the, um, like Joseph's Coat Technique. I will definitely have to do that one day. I haven't yet played around with that. Mm, that's really fun. Um, again with that Magenta Madness card base. A nice simple layout, which I thought was really nice. Here, this one was really cool because they used, um, you know, the Just Jade from the paper. They used that ivory. Um, just a lot of fun. Here's one. I do not have this stamp set, so it's always nice to see what people create with it. So we've got here this bouquet. You've got a little DSP peeking out from underneath and just this lovely little monochromatic card. Okay, this one I intentionally didn't open it just in case I had trouble folding it back up. But take a look at this. Ready? Look at that. Ta-da! So that was really neat. I thought that that's one of those where like this card takes effort to like get it exactly the way you want it to. I'm not even going to try to fold it back. <laughs> um, then we've got this card here again with that monochromatic. I think that's just, oh yeah, here we go. And then garden green. Yep, just a nice uh, simple white and garden green color. Love this one. This one I thought was great because the actual um, stamp set never says anything about a hot chocolate or tea, but notice you can still make it work for you. Um, I have these dies as well, which makes it um, really a great inspiration for me. From that same stamp set, you've got these cookies, which I thought was great. Uh, ooh, here we go. This kind of watercolor look from these... Um, the stamp set here was just lovely, easy to make a sympathy card with it. Here's another example. I signed up for a sympathy swap a little while ago. So here's another one using, I think that's Blackberry Bliss or Rich Razzleberry maybe. Um, and that Just Jade there, lovely. Here's one similar to um, some other cards in terms of their um, design. But I love that. That's nice and simple. And notice you don't even need a whole sheet of Whisper White cardstock or a half sheet. You can just use it as a backdrop. Here's a couple of um, the Christmas cards I received from a swap. This one I love. It uses last year's um, snowman paper, which was just super cute. Here's another one from that autumn uh, stamp set, or that autumn swap here. Notice it uses that beautiful Gilded Seasons or Gilded Autumn paper. Um, and then this barn door. I don't remember whether or not, I think that's still um, current. And then this gold ring here. These are a new um, embellishment. And they've, I think they're finally back in stock. I figured I'll, uh, I was waiting until it was back in stock to make a video for it. So that I thought was really sweet. Here's one that just blew me away. I thought this was so lovely. What a stunning card. Look at that. You've even got, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of Winkasella there under the on the joy there. I thought that was just absolutely beautiful. Really well made. And here's another one I loved. Um, that pine um, piece there was just super cute. And then I always love this kind of darker greens. Greens in general are a really good color. Uh, here's one that goes kind of on that sort of cooler side of the spectrum uh, with the um, snowflake 
Wishes stamp set. Here's one using a retired embossing folder, but I still thought it looked really nice. And I think that soft sea foam is that color. And I thought that was a really nice little, uh, a simple, what I liked about this is that this provides a pretty simple layout that you could redo with current stuff if you had it. Um, this card I love, look at this. You push this down like this and it can actually like hold itself up once you mess around with it a little bit. Um, but essentially you've got these with these candles here. I bought this set. I can absolutely show you guys how to make this card. I just had to figure out the dimensions. Oh, here's another one for that dog lover uh, in your family. Um, the punch is still current. The stamp sets have gone, but you could easily make this with just a, a cut out of like a black or brown um, in order to get that still that that shape that you want. And you can use the current pet stamps if you wished instead, um, and the dies as well. Here's one that I thought was super cute with these birds. This kind of watercolor look was really nice. The birds' uh, eggs there were fun too. A nice on a white background. Here's one that was really nice as well. I like this little peak of a color coming through here. And I think that's Mary Merlot, which is also one of my favorites. So, very cute. And then last but not least, I thought this one was really neat because as you can tell, that's actually embossed right here, this ink. Um, it looks like copper embossing to me. You've got that piece of copper in the background, that uh, pretty peacock, and then it's a, a slight fun fold, which makes it extra nice too. Um, so, there's that in case any of these, uh, you know, speak to you, feel free to, um, you know, take a stab at creating a design that you might like and uh, seeing how it works out for you. So until the next inspiration video, guys, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see these videos again and make sure to hit the notifications icon in order to get reminders for when I post new videos. Until next time, bye!